Hi everybody, here's my latest project. This is what I call the Fashionista album for a good friend of mine. It's a surprise birthday gift on her 50th birthday. She happens to be a family and consumer studies teacher and fashion is one of her specialties. So I thought I'd use that whole theme of fashion uh, to put together this album. Now what I did was I actually got a recollections uh, paper pad. I can't remember what, what it was called, but it had all of these uh, neat pa uh, pieces of paper in it that had fashion uh, gowns, uh, fashion sites in it, all those kind of things. And I really use that as my principal paper for creating this booklet. Um, you can see here that I've uh, taken the cover and I did my laminate technique. And if you look back on my uh, previous videos, you'll find one about how I do that. And most of this was all done on the uh, Cricut as well. So to hold it all together, and it's cinched uh, alongside, I put a nice ribbon around it with a bow. Now I'll just untie this now so you can see the cover page. So there's the cover and I think there's a glare on it so I'll hold it up a little closer for you to take a look at. So you can see my fashion Paris kind of theme that's going on on the cover. I added some lace. Um, this was stuff I picked up on the bargain bin at Michael's. Uh, it's already has adhesive on the back of it. You just cut the length off and stick it on really easy. These little pieces that are on here I just cut from the paper itself and glue them to the front of the cover. So when you open it up I've created a whole series of tags and little picture frames and journaling uh, backings that come from a set of vintage sewing and fashion pictures that I just googled in Google Images and called up and printed out. So what I've done on this page is I've created a little pocket here and here are some of the cards that I created. Um, you can see this one's a vintage sewing machine. And this one actually was a section out of some of that paper that I actually used for this as well. And on the back, except for that one, um, on this I just put a little plate, I guess, for doing journaling or putting in a picture and I used some of my distress inks and just ran around, went around the edges uh, to give it a little bit of definition. These are actually from Google Images. And they're old uh, needle packages. And again, I left the black uh, backs, I can't speak today, I left the backs blank for writing or putting uh, pictures on. And they all tuck into this little pocket that I created on the side and I decorated the pocket with some washi tape. This particular tape you can see, I'll hold it up a little closer, it looks like a tape measure and then I put some Prima flowers uh, with some brads in the center along the edge just to decorate it. Here is another pocket, a little more washi tape. Again, vintage patterns, vintage photos on the back, places to journal places to put pictures. This one's a, a large one, so that could be a lengthy journey, journaling uh, piece, or again for a larger picture. And they just tuck in to the pocket. Over the page, same idea. I created a pocket, then I did a little band here, found a vintage uh, thimble, and simply printed it out on my printer, and I raised it with some pop dots. And these are some tags, and again, I found these tags in the image files on Google and on the back I left spots where she can journal or put more pictures. They tuck into the pocket and I added the ribbon and I'm letting the ribbon come across uh, the book outside of it because I like the look of overhang. It makes, I think it just makes the journal look sort of vintage, sort of, you know, I don't know what the, the uh, shabby chic whatever the term might be. I just think it looks kind of neat. On this page, I did one of my uh, smaller pocket fold uh, pages, which you will see I have a, uh, a tutorial on that. And again, printed out cards, vintage cards, back have things to write on, they tuck into the pockets, vintage tag up here. And then I added a couple of little tags, um, and I cut, found some paper that just had lines on it, and so 
I stamped with a rubber stamp across the top here and across the top here and had a little stamp of a bird and so you could use this as a journaling card and again they fit in here I added ribbon and they hang out over the edges to give that overall look of fullness to my album these two pages there's a lot going on here first of all there are pockets cut from the paper pack that I'm using as the theme for this whole album more vintage cards and I did this on both sides I also found these I found a pad of these really neat little journaling pieces um, I didn't do anything to alter these this is exactly how they came there's a blank side this page has sort of a grid on it so you could do whatever you want it to it says memories I believe this is meant for the smash journals and again I have a previous video that talks about what I do with my smash journal this tucks right in there similar on this side but what I did here was in that same paper pack that I've been talking about I just cut out a couple of these pictures and I raised them on pop dots on top of the pocket so that gives it sort of this layered effect so you see I have the back layer another layer another layer and there's a little washi, washi tape uh, in behind here as well that had some chalkboard like numbers on it that I thought kind of looked like a measuring tape on this page I used my Cricut to make this sewing machine I forget which uh, uh, die that comes from and I made this little tag using a rubber stamp that I found at Michael's that had all this sort of history of fashion from bygone era I guess and I created this little tab glued it on back is blank and I found this little raised embellishment that says inspire on it and I just stuck it in the middle and so the pocket here is basically this little sewing machine I glued the sewing machine as such if I can get this to work so that the card just fits in here but it won't fall out the bottom because it's sealed down here on this side I created a little mini booklet little album and it opens up and I used again some of those smash journal note cards that I've talked about in previous video and it just all fits in here a little flip album so she can add things to that on this page again basic pocket on either side the cards again vintage but what I did was I added this little strip of paper down here sort of a I've heard people call these a belly band um, so I don't know if you're familiar with the concept then that's what they are they're belly bands um, again cut out these from the paper glued them on and then I found these at a dollar store and there's little pearls with a silver ring around them fake little pearls and I thought yeah they kind of carry on with the theme tags as before vintage tags that have a sewing theme and added the ribbon and I let the ribbon as long enough it hangs out over the edge this page I um, used my Cricut I think this came from the nifty 50s uh, cartridge I glued this piece down I did a little bit of distressing around the edges with a uh, walnut ink stain distress pad took that larger stamp that I showed you before and I just inked one part of it so we have a little embellishment up here in the corner more washi tape another prima flower which I custom dyed to go with the paper and I did that using my uh, homemade glitter mist there are plenty of videos on YouTube uh, that show you how to make homemade glitter mist so I'm not going to bother to do one you just do a search for it you'll find it if you're interested this page again I used half of that large stamp as a border I added a piece of that cheap lace that I got at Michaels and then I create this little booklet now you may have seen this before if not I am thinking about doing a tutorial on how to make one of these uh, you can make them any size you want this is a very small one but what's neat about this kind of album is it all opens up and out just like that now this is a really I call it a triangular fold album I've heard it called other things can't think what they are right now there may be a YouTube video on how to make one of these I went to a workshop a long time ago and the lady at the workshop showed us how to make these uh, a little bigger 
uh, than this size, but as I said, you can have any size you want. But they're really, it's very sophisticated look, but you know, it's really easy to make. So if you're interested, um, drop me a note and I'll uh, make you a, a video on how to create one of these. They're kind of fun and they're nice to give to people because they're so unusual. Tied it up with a ribbon here. The other thing about this, as a side note, you can actually create this so it will hold a CD or a couple of CDs. So if you had a bunch of pictures, um, digital format, you want to create a little slideshow, you know, of a special event or something, you can make one of these a little larger and it'll hold a CD. Now, I can do a tutorial on that because I've made quite a few of these. So actually, I may do a tutorial on it. But let me know if you're interested and uh, I'll put some work into that. Here again is a Cricut Cut. Um, I use that Nifty 50s cartridge again. Another place to write some notes. Use that stamp I have, that rubber stamp with the tape measure on it. Add a little tag from the Smash Journal sets. And this is a piece of washi tape down here that looked like a tape measure that I happen to have. On the following page, again some more of that washi tape, cards, notes, like I've done in the other pages. And this was just a piece of scrap that when I'd cut out those other things you saw previously, there was this little file folder kind of effect on the collage paper. I just cut out that piece, glued it down over top of the pocket, and so that just sort of makes a nice little pocket enhancement. Last two pages, I made a giant library card envelope using my Cricut again, and I covered it with the paper that I have been using throughout the album, and I created a tag. And on this tag, again, that's a cutout. The background comes from the same paper package. And on the back, there's a place to journal or to put more pictures. Added a ribbon, so it's a giant tag, and it fits right in here. You can't probably see it very well on this video, but there is a piece of very, um, uh, it's almost transparent washi tape along this bottom part. And again, I did that. On this page, the two pockets kind of a thing, and I've got the tags similar here. Again, I used this time, I used uh, very lightly stamped in from rubber stamp this background that's here, you can see. Add a little ribbon with the overhang and finish. Now, to keep the ribbon to the booklet, I have my own tags that I've made, they're book plates with my name that says who made it. I just use that to hold the ribbon. And so when you're finished with it, you close it up, tie the bow. You know, I'm not really good at bow tying. <laughs> I'll have to fluff that up in a little bit. Now what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to get a box that will fit that and I'll customize the box a cover and wrap it all up and that's going to be her 50th birthday gift. So, hope you enjoyed. Talk to you later.